everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a really cool idea that I saw in somebody else's video last night or yesterday and I made them and I am so in love with this idea that I'm going to show you how to make them and then you can go to the lady's original video and then take a look at hers too. Now I am not a ruffle, feather, lace, kind of dangly sort of person but I thought this was a clever idea so here's the idea. It's making dangles out of um, popsicle sticks, or she calls them lolly sticks. She's from the UK, I think. But these are incredibly easy to make. I have small ones from the little um, tiny wooden books that I made, little fence books. And then I have the large ones. Today I'm going to use the large ones, but there, this is the... That's this size, the little ones. Hers are like, I think she said they were inch and a half long, so I think hers are a little bit smaller than this, but that's okay, because I took one of them and I actually cut it in half and made it even smaller. So if you have any jewelry findings or jump rings or anything like that, this is going to be really easy for you because this is like a basic no-brainer. All right, so there's that. Oh, I might be a convert for dangles. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> but these are just too good to resist. All right, so I have a whole bunch of jewelry finding type stuff that I've, I've collected over the years. Now, it's taken me about, I don't know, 15 years to collect these. And I bought a box on Amazon. I don't know if they still make this, but when you buy it, you get all these little teeny boxes in here. And you get a box like this that has a little metal spoon in it so you can spoon your beads. I may have gotten rid Oh, there's the spoon right there. Let's see, where's the little spoons? This is two boxes, but I think one of them belonged to another container. So you get these little t one little spoon in the box, in a box like this, and um, you, you dip your beads and stuff with it. I saved them because I thought they were so cute. I couldn't throw them away. All right, so I took this out of another box and put two of these in here. All right, this is my copper box. I have two golds, two silvers, a black metal, a copper, and something, a miscellaneous. So what I'm thinking about is I would like to make something out of these copper things here because I have enough jump rings. I don't know if I have large enough jump rings. Uh-oh. Let's see. Well, maybe I have some in here. Yeah, I have a larger set of jump, uh, larger jump rings in there, and I have eye pins, so I have those. And then I have all kinds of miscellaneous things like hearts and fish, that kind of stuff. And uh, spring uh, daisy, daisy wheels. I have lobster clasps. I have beads. I have a collection of stuff in here. All right, so this is how it starts. You're going to need popsicle sticks, or as she calls them, lolly sticks. I don't like this one, it's beat up. There we go. Um, I cut mine, and don't laugh, but I cut mine using scissors because lolly sticks are not, popsicle sticks are not that big of a deal. All right, so what I, and I use this to poke the holes in them, and I use the smallest one. And what you do is you just kind of center it so that you can see inside the hole here where the popsicle stick is. You just slide that in, and ta-da, you have old, you have a hole. Look at that. I had no idea. Um, the downside to that is, is sometimes you might have to whack this or take some kind of a sharp pointy thing to kind of punch out this hole, this um, wooden stick thing. There he goes. There goes the second one. So you'll need to empty that out periodically. But I just thought this was really cool. This is all it took was this. All right, so I want to make my name. So what I'm going to do is I have to make sure that I leave enough space that I can put a letter to my name and then poke a hole in it, and the letter will be in the middle. So I guess I need to go down a little further. Let's try this. Nicely cuts. Then I take just a cheap emery board and I 
buffed it so that it wouldn't be splintery. If you have any brains, you will use sandpaper, not in every board, but I don't want to go out in the cold garage to go get sandpaper. So that's all you really need to do is just buff it up so that um, you don't catch your clothes or anything valuable on this or get a splinter in your finger. Actually, I don't care how it looks on the end too much. I'll see I splintered it there. All right, now I'm going to poke another hole using the same little skinny one, just like I did the last one. I'm going to look in, and I'm going to see it through here that it's kind of centered. And there I have it right there. Then, I think I might like... What color do I want? I don't know. I don't know. Well, let me go poke another hole while I'm thinking about it. I need a, a nice color. Okay, since I um, can't buy any things, I'm trying to use the things that I have on hand. Um, in the video, I think her name is Julie or Julia, used, um, you know those little ball and chain things that you use on your key change and you, you can dangle something off of them? I don't have any of that kind of chains. Like the old bathtubs used to have the ball and the little... Anyway, oh. So I don't have any of that bathtub looking chain stuff. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, so I'm going to have to use what I have on hand. So, uh, I have jump rings, I have eye pins. Uh, let's see, do I really need a jump ring that big? Well, how about we try this? I made some of these um, shapes when I was trying to learn how to bend metal years ago. And I'm thinking I need, I need to use some of these today. Yeah. All right, so let's throw those in. You can basically do anything you want to these popsicle sticks. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to be anything really brain-numbing hard. I think I'm going to attach this. will attach to the book. Then I'll attach this. And then I'll attach this one, and then I'll put a little dangle on the end here. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I need some kind of a ring. Those seem too heavy to me. So let's try something a little less heavy. I don't know if this is. These are made from real, real copper wire that I made myself. These came from... Fire Mountain. These say 11 64ths of an inch. All right. So, you know, if you open up jump rings, you never pull them apart like this. You always twist them like that, and then you twist them back. And if you do it right, you should hear a snap because the, the ends will line up. I don't always hear the snap, but I look to make sure they're done. So you take two pliers or whatever you have handy, I guess, and then you twist right and you twist left. If you're lucky, they'll really open like you're thinking they will. <laughs> there we go. So it's open. I'm going to slip this inside of here. And I'm going to slip this in the end of the popsicle stick. 
and then I'm going to close them and then I'm going to close them back the same way I opened them up. They're going towards each other and there's a snap. Oh, I got lucky today. All right, so now there's this little dangle here. I hope it focuses. I'm sorry if I move too fast, it, it can't it can't catch up. And it doesn't matter which side I do stuff on. All right, so I'm going to need another jump ring. Get another jump ring out. And let's open this up. And then I'm going to put it at the top of this one. And you're going to close it. I hope it's fat enough. Yeah, I guess it is. It's a little distorted. And it's hard to get this one together with two popsicle sticks in there like that. I might have to get a larger jump ring. I don't know. Let's see if we can make this work. And it's not coming back together like it should. Come on, go down. Let's move it. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have to adjust this because I think I bent the ring a little bit. Let's try this again. Yeah. I think that closed it. There we go. So... Now I have a little dangle inside the dangles, like, you know, this is what's going to be at the top of the book. So I am going to use, 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 uh, well, I thought it was. <laughs> eh. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to use the larger copper rings that I made when I was learning how to make my own copper rings, jump rings. So I'm going to take this one. So I put the eye pin through the mouth of the fish and it barely goes in there. So I'm going to need a little tiny bead as a buffer so the eye pin doesn't ram right through the fish. What do we got here? We have any copper, little tiny copper beads? Yes, we do. Okay. So these are itty bitties. And when I would get something, I would cut the label off of it. This is three millimeters. So I'll put this on the end of the eye pin. Then I will slip my little fish in. Do I want him to go up or down? I think I need him up. There we go. All right, so we're going to make ourselves a little circle. Now, whoop, you know what I should have done? I should have done it right in the wood. Well, no, I'll do it with that. Pin. All right, so I'm going to pull this over. Now I'm going to wrap it. Just grab it by the eye. And I'm going to wrap it. I don't need for it to be neat or cute. I just need for it to be sturdy so it doesn't come undone. I'm only going to do one or two wraps, and then I'm going to cut the rest off. And I did not bring the wire cutters over. Hang on a second, let me run get the wire cutters. Best laid plans, right? All right, here's the wire cutters. Be sure that when you cut wire that you either hold one hand with the piece you're going to cut off and um, hang on to it because these little wires, they tend to get all over your craft room. And then if you have a dog or a cat, you may not find it, but inevitably... 
they do. So I'm going to make sure I mash that in so it doesn't scratch me. Straighten this. Okay, so I would like to put what I can fit on here. I think I would like to either put my name or my initials on here so that it looks good. Or I can find it if I lose it. <laughs> Probably is the second option. <laughs> All right, what do I want to put on here? I didn't give this much thought past that. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get, um, maybe I don't want to put my name on it. Maybe, I don't know. All right, let me see what I got. So when I was reorganizing and paring down stuff, I got rid of some stickers and I, all the stickers I have fit right here in this skinny basket. I decided that since I don't use stickers that often, there is no point in me holding on to them. And of course, that is the moment I decide that now I have to have a sticker, so. Uh, all right, where's my letter? It's all too big. So what I need are these guys. Now, many years ago, when I did pocket letters, I ordered from Peachy Cheap these, not these, not these or these. I got these sticker deals for these alphabet stickers. Um, and I never use them. I ne there's like packages of these things that I never I never use. It's crazy that I'm not using this stuff. So I don't know which one I wanna do you like me. I think it's gonna be this one. Let me see what I got here. Let's see if I have anything small enough that will fit on here. There we go. And then I can put this on this ring. I had another ring on there, so I could put this on here. And there we have it. Oh, this way. Um, the ones I did yesterday to test this out says memory, and it was a uh, Tim Holtz sticker. This one says journal notes, which is basically what this is. Oh, fell off. I guess the clasp did not close all the way. No, it did not. All right, well bad clasp. You're supposed to close. All right, let's see what we can do about this. Put on this one over here. I think I need bigger jump rings. Clasp, close. There we go. Now I closed it. All right, um, and so some of these others say, uh, like I said, memory, journal notes, then this is the VB, and then it says make today count, and creative artist. For the dangles on here. I don't know. This dangly thing might be growing on me. Don't tell anybody I said that because I'll never hear the end of it. All right, so there you go. Something for a very quick little idea to use up little bitty parts. If you're not shopping in a craft store, you can't afford to go out and buy stuff. You might have stuff you need on hand at home to do this. Cool idea, huh? I will put the link down below for the video where I got this idea from so that you can watch her do it. It's totally cool. I just, I'm blown away by how somebody can make a popsicle stick look wonderful and super duper easy to make poke holes in it I just just think it's very clever all right 
that's it for me until the next time see you guys later bye